Hey, hi, how you doing? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. I'm taking a short break from working on and producing my Elden Ring video series to make this quick and simple video about the brand new DLC expansion to one of my favorite games, Outriders. If you watched my top 10 favorite video games of 2021, you would know that Outriders was one of my favorite games of last year. I consider it to be one of the best looter shooters. While I certainly enjoy and really love other games in this subgenre, like Borderlands, Destiny 2, The Division, Outriders just checks a lot of boxes for me and has a look and feel that I personally prefer. Namely, and mainly, it's more focused, linear, story-driven design. Also, the over-the-top amounts of blood and gore really help too. Now, over a year after Outriders released on all mainline major platforms, it's released its first ever massive DLC expansion, World Slayer. Hell of a title. World Slayer introduces a brand new story campaign that takes place shortly after the main campaign in the base game. A new endgame activity, the Trials of Taria Gortar two brand new progression systems to level up in, and mountains of new powerful loot to collect. Let's get this out of the way right now. The World Slayer expansion was made for fans of Outriders. If you've played Outriders before and didn't like it, didn't have fun with it, it's not your kind of game, then World Slayer probably won't change your mind. Because when we get to brass tacks, when we boil it all down, the Outriders World Slayer expansion is just more Outriders. Still the same gameplay, still the same formula. Move through a linear environment, kill a shit ton of enemies using guns and superpowers, collect the loot, then customize and optimize your character build. So if you're wondering if you should pick up and play the World Slayer expansion if you previously played Outriders, that boils down to do you like Outriders? Do you not like Outriders? Because World Slayer is just more Outriders. Now, as a big fan of Outriders, this expansion was a treat. Or should I say, still is a treat, since I'm still playing it when I can. The new story campaign. As someone who liked the characters in the main campaign, and absolutely loved the lore and world building, also found in the main campaign, the World Slayer campaign absolutely fed me. We are finally given the answer to so many questions and mysteries that were still present at the end of the main campaign. And there's so many more new mysteries and questions added in their place. Oh, I love it. It's so good. And of course, Outrider's style of storytelling and writing returns in full force with that sci-fi, grim, dark setting and atmosphere, poetic, heartbreaking tragedy, and hints of black comedy. Story-wise, I really enjoyed the World Slayer campaign. However, I would argue the real star of the show in this new campaign are the brand new environments and levels. The meticulous amount of fucking detail put into these environments is something to behold. The art team over at developer People Can Fly really went all out on this. There were multiple times throughout my first World Slayer playthrough where I just had to stop and stare. All of the new enemies and bosses introduced in the World Slayer expansion are also great, providing interesting and engaging new challenges. In particular, the new Insurgent Executioners, Feral Corsairs, and Shadow Beasts. But of course, this is a looter shooter, and y'all want to hear about the new progression systems, endgame, and loot. For progression, we have the new Ascension levels and Apocalypse tiers. The whole Ascension system is great. It's basically continuing to level up past max level and min-max your stats, similar to Guardian ranks from Borderlands 3. I find this system quite satisfying and really enjoy making my super powerful character even more powerful as I continue to play. Then we have Apocalypse tiers, and Apocalypse tiers are a bit of a double-edged sword. Apocalypse tiers are an extension to the previous world tier system in the Outriders base game. Once you hit max world tier, you proceed into Apocalypse tiers. Now, Apocalypse tiers are a seamless progression system that do indeed provide much more high-quality loot, constant epic and legendary drops with high stats. Mm -mm. Mm, so satisfying. But I unfortunately must concur with other critics of this expansion content that the XP grind to level up to the higher end Apocalypse tiers gets just a wee too bit excessive. In its current state, if you want to reach the final max Apocalypse tier, it's gonna take you dozens upon dozens upon dozens of hours of playing the game and grinding. On one hand, it's great to have a progression system that will keep fans of the game playing for several, several dozen hours who love the game and just want to 
excuse to keep playing. On the other hand, if you want the highest top tier quality loot at max apocalypse tier, and you only intend to play the game casually, oh boy, well, sorry to say, you're going to have to put in a lot of hours if you want to reach the final apocalypse tier. Then, we have the new endgame activity, The Trials of Taria Gratar, which, I have to say, the devs kind of overhyped this a bit, because it's honestly just more Outriders, which I'm cool with. You walk into a combat arena, you kill all the enemies, you get the loot, you walk into a boss arena, you kill the boss, you get the loot. There are optional arenas in the trial that contain targeted loot, which is very nice, but you're just killing more enemies and maybe killing a boss at the end, but some, some of the bosses, I'd say about half, maybe more than half, are genuinely really cool and have unique animations, unique attacks and abilities. There are some genuinely cool bosses to be found in the trials. Lastly, we finally come to the loot. And the loot, oh sweet baby Jesus, the loot in World Slayer is fantastic. All of the new legendary weapons and armor sets are fucking stellar. All the new weapon and armor mods are just ridiculous in terms of the wacky, overpowered shit they can do. Now I could tell you guys all about it, or I could just show you some raw gameplay of my Devastator class character absolutely wrecking shit with my current mod build. The legendary weapons, armor, and mods from the Outriders base game already gave the player the opportunity to feel like a god and create ridiculous overpowered builds, but with World Slayer, it takes it even a step further with Apocalypse Gear. Apocalypse Gear are weapons and armor that can drop with a third mod slot, and holy shit, that one extra mod slot makes all the difference in the world. It allows for so much more customization, creativity, and experimentation. And Apocalypse Gear Drops are always exciting, with that possibility that you get a perfect god roll with three mods that synchronize perfectly, allowing you to create builds that do, well, what you saw my Devastator doing. So thanks to all the new content, all the new progression systems, and all the new sweet, sweet loot introduced in the World Slayer expansion, I'm going to be playing Outriders for a long, long time in the foreseeable future. So, if you enjoy Outriders, if you like Outriders as much as I do, I absolutely recommend the World Slayer expansion. I've had a ton of fun playing it, and I look forward to continuing to play it, leveling up all my characters, and creating those perfect builds.
Anyways, that's been my video on Outriders World Slayer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, leaving a comment, sharing your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. If you want to help me out and want more people to see the video, consider sharing the video on social media, Twitter, Reddit, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, please consider a donation via YouTube Super Thanks or clicking on the link to my Buy Me A Coffee page in the description. Anyways, once again, that's been a video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.